Mm. Greetings all, it's Max, and we're back. Going to touch on a couple of things here before we get into this dispensation deal with the book of James. Uh, first off, I want to uh, apologize for spamming everybody with the notifications. I had a whole bunch of videos that I did not release. They were supposed to go up on Patreon, and some of them I just kind of forgot about. And they were up, just unlisted, so I figured if I made them public, it would be no problem. But apparently it sent out a notification like I was uploading a bunch of videos. So no, I, I did most of those videos probably a year ago now, um, just to let you know. If you guys want me to keep doing uh, Christian movie reviews, uh, let me know somewhere in one of the comments. That is, at the moment, the best way to help me out here on YouTube is thumbsing up and making comments and uh, sharing you know, on Facebook with friends and stuff like that really helps me out. And if you want people to hear what I'm talking about and uh, my opinions on things related to the Bible, certainly helps out. Now, on to this dispensation deal. I apparently now have to do a study on the entire book of James because nobody apparently knows what the book of James is talking about. Um, Scott Clark put out a video a couple of days ago and it was showing up in my feed, but I'm not, I don't watch Scott Clark. Um, I had a problem with him predicting the future with some of his stuff. And um, my wife watched it and asked me some questions on this, that. And she was speaking with other people that had watched it. And I ended up watching it. And it's really sad what these people believe that. You don't need to worry about the book of James because it's written to the 12 tribes of Israel, so therefore it must put it into Jacob's trouble because it's in the New Testament. How, how did they get that? Who, who gets that out of the book of James? Yes, it's written to the 12 tribes of Israel. It's written to Jews. During the Gospels, Jesus is talking to Jews. That means that they, nothing, nothing in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John applies today. Um, I, I don't understand. And it goes back to this <clears throat> faith plus works in different dispensations. Now, no one's been able to answer my questions yet. What are the works supposed to do? What does God need with your works? Do you get to brag to God about how you got to let me into heaven now because of these works? And God's going to say, well, sorry, sorry, Max, you're not a Jew. So it doesn't apply to you. It only applies to the Jews. What? That doesn't make any sense. We've got faith works in the Old Testament. Then we have the church age. So does that mean that saved by faith alone doesn't apply to the Jews and it's only for Gentiles? Is this the road that we're going down? And then once we get into Jacob's trouble again, then we're back to works works and faith. It makes no sense. None. And honestly, I feel so bad about the people caught up in this because... They're making Jesus Christ, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Word, just like every other deity from all the fake religions out there, where you're working your way to heaven. It doesn't matter if it's not for us, and today in the church age, you're making the Jews work to go to heaven. Huh? What are your works supposed to do again? No one, no one can tell me. It's really sad. Um, no, the book of James, James is explaining that it's faith. You will go to heaven through faith, believing on Jesus Christ. But don't ask for stuff that you can do for yourself. Don't ask God for every little thing when you can take care of things yourself. I'll get into it as I cover it. As I'm just going to go through the whole book, all five chapters. And that's the way it's going to have to be, because I, I cannot believe in this in the Scott Clark video. I don't have it up, so I, don't, I can't tell the name of it. But there's a lot of pastors out there that are preaching this, apparently. A whole bunch that are like, well, see, we can reconcile James with uh, Paul. Because really, we can just throw out James because that's written to the Jews. That's stupid. That is really dumb. And if 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 their mental aptitude is that low that the best they can do 
to reconcile Paul with James is to say James is only to the Jews and you don't need to worry about it. Huh? <laughs> it leaves me perplexed and it, and it leaves me sad. And it's like, if you if you really want to go back to that works thing, it, it does make God no different than Allah or, or any of these other works based religions may as well be Catholic May as well. Got to work in there somehow anyway. So that's what we're going to do. Up next, the entire book of James. Hooray. Oh, yeah, and I did finish um, two or three more Bible basics things, if anyone's interested in that. And with that, we'll be out of here and probably back in three hours when I finish James. <laughs>